Today I'm going to show you guys how to control the 3D camera inside of After Effects. It's a simple and easy tutorial made for beginners. And if you want to support me, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's get into it. So now what you're going to have to do is simply click on this composition. Right click on this panel, click on new, then click on camera. This will give you something like that. Make sure to choose one node camera and you can also enable depth of field but i won't do it right now now once you're done with your parameters you can click on ok skip this warning and then you have your 3d camera inside of your project so what you can do now is simply click on these boxes on all of the layers to turn them into 3d so now what you can do is simply click on one view and click on two view this will give you a top view of the 3d scene so you can place your 3d objects the easier way so what i'm gonna do is simply pick the background and i'm gonna push it all the way back like that Okay, even more. And now just click on S and scale it up. Right? Like so. So now just do this for almost every layers. I'm just gonna hide the, um, the subject. I'm gonna focus on the mountain. So here's the mountain. I'm just gonna push it back like that. Okay. Like so. And then I'm just gonna click on S. And I'm gonna I'm gonna scale it out. Here we go. Now I'll just leave my subject right there because uh, they're separated to the other elements, so there's no need to move them. So now what I can do is simply sel select the camera, click on the arrow, put it down, and click on transform. And this is where all the control happens. But let's look at them one by one. So click on P to only at the position. So these numbers right there control the Z axis, which means in other words, it is the control that allows you to go forwards or backwards. This is the Y axis. You can go up and down and this is the, and this is the X axis, left and right. Okay. And by clicking on R, you'll have the rotations and I'll stick to orientation. You don't have to really play with those on there. So with orientation, you'll have pretty much everything. So this this will be the Z axis to rotate this way. This will be the this will be the Y axis to rotate that way, and this will be the X axis to rotate that way. So now that you know that, you can pretty much animate everything. So just so now just add your first keyframe, and this keyframe will be the key, the keyframe of the initial position. So you're just gonna have to push it away a little bit like that. I'll just add another keyframe at the start. Now what you can do is simply play around with your Z axis if you want to make a zoom out. So go up a bit with the Y axis and just keep on going with the Z. Now click on play. You got to zoom out animation. So as, as you can see, the camera goes into the cape. So I'm just going to put the Y axis a little bit higher. Okay, so this is better. But you probably notice, but the animation is not smooth. So what you can do is simply select both of these keyframes and click on F9 to apply the easy ease. And here you go. But let's say you want to add some rotation. What you're going to have to do is simply click on the camera, click on R and just add a keyframe to start. And you're going to have to add a keyframe where the position keyframes ends. So what you can do is simply go back to the P, go to the position of the last keyframe then go back to R add a new keyframe now go back to the first keyframe and just start making your rotation select all of your keyframes click on F9 but as you can see the background is cropping out it's not really a problem just select your background go on FX and presets search for a tile click on repeat tile now what you're gonna have to do is simply expand to the parts where it's cropping out then click on unfold and just to be sure just do it to all the parts go down left and right here you go so as you can see the background was fixed and you got your little animation different way to control the camera is also by selecting it in the second view so let's say you want to do a, a quick zoom and there's also another way to control the camera it's by control in it second view so what you can do is simply add a keyframe okay for example you want to make a a fast zoom so what you can do is simply go ahead and add a keyframe go a little bit forwards then just start controlling your camera like this and 
as you can see there's letters when you select the camera and if you see a wire letter that means you're on the wire axis so you can start pulling it pulling it up or down okay so now what you can do is simply select the first keyframe right there copy it and paste it and here you go you have a little zone so just select these three keyframes click on the f9 again this is how it goes this is how it looks it's way too fast so what you can do is simply select the last keyframe and press on alt and hold the alt and just drag it forward like that now what you can do is, is simply hold the alt again and click on this clock and you're simply gonna add some shake animation so to do that you're gonna have to add a wiggle expression like that so that was the basic of the 3d camera this is basically all you need to know to make a simple and basic animation so when you're done with your animation what you can what you can do is simply select all of the motion blur boxes and all of your layers to make the animation smoother all right so now you can go back on this composition and just and just add all of the effects that you want to add spice it up a little bit more so let's say i just want to add some composition i'm just gonna put the effect like that reverse it so as you can see this what this is what you was supposed to be able to make after this tutorial this was a really simple tutorial just to go over the basics of the 3d camera i hope it was helpful if it was don't hesitate to look at this video this is where i explain in detail how to animate hair in your in your visualizers it's really it's a quick and informative video don't miss it and see you in another video no, I'm